103.3 KFR. It's a morning mayhem with Dana and Tess in the studio with us right now. Uh, former American Idol contestant Matt Gerard. I bet you are sick of people calling you former American Idol contestant. Oh, that's all right. Is that's, it all right? Hey, you know what? It's still somewhat relevant. Right. If I were you, I'd be eating it up. <laughs> I, I, I was an idol addict. Like, I had to go to rehab. Uh, from the first time I started watching it in 2002, I saw every episode. And then at the time I was living, let's see, when you were on, I was in Indianapolis. And then I see Kalamazoo guy. So immediately I'm going to be like, yes, the Kalamazoo guy. Right? Yeah. yeah because man. that's kind of how things start to happen. People have their local loyalties. But then you sang. But you didn't just sing. You you sang. sang. You like to sing. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it was a fun. better. That was a better. Well, people that actually. I could do. The, only, the only bad thing is like when you're walking down the street and people just like yell the show you were on at the back of your head. <laughs> yeah, American Idol. <laughs> you're just like, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Nice uh, to meet you. <laughs> Great conversation starter. Sometimes I just say I was on Fear Factor and just confuse them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> American Idol. <laughs> it was Fear Factor, bro. Get it right. <laughs> that is fantastic. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> what, was, what was your favorite part about the Idol experience, though? Because it seemed like you guys were insanely busy. They, they make everything look fun, but it looks like you guys were just, I mean, nonstop. Yeah, uh... Best part of the Idol experience was probably uh, when it was over. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's like w when it was over, like, you know, it was actually all the fun begins. Like, you go on the Ellen show, you're doing Jay Leno, and like all yeah. the other contestants are back there, like, you know, like doing the same old, like arguing over songs and who's going to this and that. And I'm like, I'm right. going on the Ellen show in Miami. You know, it's just kind of like, no, that's like the fun part. And then coming home, like, that was like, you know, you left in obscurity. Like, I was just a piano guy at the Radisson. And then you come right. home, and it's like, oh, oh my gosh, there's 6,000 people out here. Like, and all my friends and family from my whole, like, it's like your life is flashed behind your eyes. But, I couldn't uh, imagine. But that part's cool, you know, and just like but hanging out, making all the new friends and connections and playing with like the baddest band in the land on TV was pretty cool, except when yeah. you did horribly. So that's that's not the good part. But. You, <laughs> I don't remember you ever doing poorly on the show. <laughs> oh, there's and, a couple and I, times, and I'm not trying to, No, <laughs> seriously. I, I just remember thinking when you, when you got voted off, it seemed, well, Clearly something was wrong. There was a week when you and Adam Lambert were both in the bottom two, weren't you? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Only two of the best vocalists ever on Idol. Seriously, <laughs> oh, that was a great year, though. You you had competition like no other contestants had. Yeah. Come on. Everyone was just so killer. Like, Man. It was, a, it was a pretty awesome year. Like We felt like a band, you know, but yeah. someone was just getting picked out of our band every week, and you're just like, no. But are you still friends with like, me. Danny Goki? Are you two oh, still yeah. in contact? Yeah, yeah. Goki's a great guy, and he's doing like the Christian music thing now and doing great with that. And, oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, we still hang out some time to time. He's in Nashville, so when I get down oh, there. Oh, no kidding. He lets me stay in his guest room <laughs> <laughs> of his mansion. Oh, wow. You know. <laughs> Fancy no, I'm, I'm friends with all those guys. Anoop and Scotty. And I see Adam from time to time. But, uh, yeah, we're all good buddies still. Well, that that guy, he was just crazy. Yeah, yeah. I think one of the best parts of specifically the season you were in, that to me felt like the season that stopped being karaoke. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody had their thing and did songs their way. Yeah. Uh, even when you did Michael Jackson, Human Nature. Mm -hmm. Like at first when you start playing piano, you have no idea what the song is. It's like, w that's going to be human nature. Uh huh. And then, <laughs> and then you, you did it your way. It was your thing. Yeah. And I think uh, all the idol seasons before that, it was just kind of like, wow, these are really good singers sounding like the people they're yeah, yeah. forming. We had to try to be artists. They say, kind of make your own. And, uh, you know, yeah. I mean, it's like you, you're looking for a moment. Like, that's what they want you to have. And it's hard to do that in like a minute and 20 seconds. You know what I mean? <laughs> As a singer, like, all right, you got a minute and 20. Wow. Them, you know? Yeah. And you're like, okay. You know, after Adam Lambert sings, you're like, okay, what do I do? But no, that was like a moment for me. I love that. You know, that was a, that was a cool moment. Well, we're, we're on the air from what? 530 to 10. And I, I can't wow people in that span, a minute and 20 seconds. Right. I would be out of there fast. Oh, uh, yeah. It would be bad And people want bears. me to go on The Voice next year. Ugh. Why not? Uh, should I? I don't know. I think I you think totally you should. should. You think I should? Is that even a question? I don't know. I was like 23 on Idol. Like you watch yourself and you're like, man, I'm, I feel like I'm better now. Maybe I should. I don't know. 
I don't want it to look like I'm like, you know, trying to get back on TV, but it might just be fun. No, you know? how did you handle the Maybe pressure? I'll get Miley. I don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Still yep. up in my hand. Yep. Um, well, <laughs> you, you could wear a jacket with butterflies on it. This could be a whole new direction this, for I you. I could redo my whole image. See? Uh-huh. <laughs> no. I would think the pressure of being 23 years old singing in front of millions of people. Knowing that if you suck, mm-hmm. that and then uh. you get voted off, that's the last moment people remember you by. And they want you to suck too. Like no, like Ryan Seacrest. If you watch back, he'll be like, <laughs> "Will he be able to pull it off tonight? Oh, yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> will I, he be better than last week? Hope so, Matt Gerard. <laughs> I always, I always wonder about the fact that you are just about to perform, and you got to get in that place. You get that mental yeah. vibe. You got to get ready, and then they play a video package that makes everyone in the audience cry. Just before you have to perform, and then Ryan says something so passive aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> Will he? Don't be, mess up. Will he be okay right, tonight? Right, like, Will this one, long yeah. journey have a good ending? Madron. <laughs> <laughs> so this have to yeah. be good. It's it's a scary thing, you know. And you're only really singing for like 200 people or so, but in reality, it's like you know, 20 million people are watching. Wow. And it, yeah, it feels awful good when you do good, but then yeah. you get in the back and you're like, ooh. <laughs> but they actually they watched our performances before like this is the trippy thing they already knew like what you're gonna do right. pretty much what they're gonna say you can go out there and that's that's the scary part is like knowing like the judgment is coming down before you sing oh that's <laughs> right you were in the you were in the Simon Cowell <laughs> years yeah Whew. yeah no, Ooh, it, I, I couldn't imagine awesome. not only being intimidated by the fact that you know you're 23 years old national television and Simon Cowell's sitting right in front of you. Mm-hmm, I feel mm-hmm. like I'd pass out from anxi- an anxiety attack. It feels uh, like you're stepping into the TV or something. Honestly, like there's like bright lights and everyone's, you know, and they're just like, there you go, kid. And you feel like you're like stepping into the TV box Be that you've watched all these years. When, when but, Simon yeah. would look at you and talk to you, when it was his turn to tell you what he felt about you, did you whisper to yourself, don't stare at the V-neck, don't stare at the V-neck, don't stare at the V-neck. <laughs> don't stare at the haircut. Uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That, you always show. had the tight V's on where I thought, why yeah, are you yeah, doing yeah. this to yourself? That show really, I mean, like, you know, I can, you know, there's things I can pick apart, but, you know, that, that show, like, opened up, obviously, a lot of doors for me. You know what I mean? Like, right. I, ever since then, was it eight years ago? I mean, that, wow. to think about that. Yeah. Eight years ago, and I'm, like, still, I'm playing with symphonies all over the country. I get to fly around and play cool gigs everywhere, and it's like, you know, and, you know, I was just playing, like, five hours from home last night, and people, like, they still recognize you. Like, as soon as you walk, you're like, you're the only guy, you're from my, you know, and it's like, really? Like, all these years later, you know, so it's, that show makes an impact, and it's, you know, it gets you in the door, and then, yeah. obviously, you still got to work hard and, like, write great songs, and so we're still hustling. And your, your voice is okay. I'm trying, like, man. You know, it's, it's our, you know, we're going to play a little game with Matt. Speaking of that voice, we, by the way, if you're just joining us, Matt Gerard, formerly of American Idol, currently of Kalamazoo. Uh, we're, we're glad we still have you. Yeah. You you kind of go back and forth, though, right? A lot. Yeah. I, I It seems like I see you in Nashville constantly. Yeah, yeah. Down there writing and playing, and I pop into some dueling piano type stuff here and there and have fun doing that. And then I also am, like, writing and performing whoever calls around the country. So, But, yeah, this is still my home house. I love Michigan. All right. Yeah. Well, we're going to talk more with Matt Gerard and play a little game All involving right. his voice. Let's see if he can handle it. Oh, boy. I wish I had a Ryan Seacrest impersonation. You do. I thought you did. <laughs> This, <laughs> this. That's a, okay, uh, Seacrest it's messing out. with Matt. Hey, were you? Wait, was was that the year that he tried to experiment with the Seacrest out thing and it didn't go oh over? Gosh, Do you remember know, that? I don't know. He it would try to end Idol with Seacrest out. Seacrest out. So I got the idea to buy SeacrestOut.com. He already owned it. Ah, uh, <laughs> yep. He did. Wow, yeah, I was like, I'm gonna make millions. <laughs> no, Seacrest out was owned. I would have never out. thought. Yeah. Of something like that. <laughs> SeacrestOut.com. Cool. What would it consist of? Who, who cares? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. I don't know. All right, more with Matt Jarrett coming up in a few minutes. Stick around. Hello, we have Matt Gerard in the studio with us. I always want to add an R in your last name where it doesn't belong. Why is your last name so hard for me to say? It's I'm... actually French. It's Giraud. Giraud. I don't expect you to. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Matt Gerard is in the studio this morning. <laughs> Matt Gerard. All you have to do is go, <laughs> Giraud. Now, I, I drive Susanna, my fiance, crazy with my impersonations because I always tell her that if I were a vocalist, I would be a sensitive, breathy singer like John Mayer. We got the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! I don't know. I don't know. Your body is one lamb. 
A Christmas Wonderland. Don't you feel sensitive as you sing like that? I can I tell. I do. It's like you, you can only sing a note for like three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I wish we were filming. So. I need some water. <laughs> I couldn't tell the difference right there. See? Who's I there? am so We're- thirsty, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, yeah, obviously, I'm a huge Prince fan. Yeah, yeah. Huge Prince fan. Uh, now that you and I, I don't know if you know this, you and I are going to become best friends. Well, I don't think we already weird. are best friends. We're besties. And when you come over, and I don't think it's uncomfortable to say when you're hanging out in my basement, don't worry, people He's leave. He's a man cave they- down there. It's okay. not anything weird. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come to my basement. <laughs> Tess literally had to clarify, listen, it's cool, dude. <laughs> he, like ten Prince posters. He no longer has the taser. Uh, <laughs> I have, like, Prince guitars and, like, nice. actual guitars. I have, like, this whole setup. So when we're hanging out singing uh, breathy and sensitive songs. Now, uh, you did the most hilarious Prince sound. So I want to have, pr- have a Prince off. All right. A Prince off! <laughs> Okay. God rest his soul. (laughs) I love you, Prince. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Okay, your turn. Here we go. Here we go. (laughs) Wait, I'm not done. I got to throw some funk in it. (laughs) See? Did you guys hear that? Again, again. I love it. And it's really hard to not accidentally go from Prince to Michael Jackson, which is offensive to Prince fans. You're not supposed to do that. It's hard to not go, eh, and then not go, yeah, 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 like, 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 you just, it's hard to not. Wow, that's, that's pretty good. We, we have to do Purple Rain next time or something. I'll bring in my Prince guitars. We'll make it a thing. Lemon to cause you, and it's, I roll, I roll, I roll, I roll. Fade off, you know. Wow. I think we just found a new member of the Morning Mayhem. Yeah. Come hey, on. How would you like a, a low rewarding, low paying career in radio? I think that sounds great. All right, you're Can in. Add that to my pile. There you go. You can't travel anymore. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You have to well, I'll, I'll stay call here. in and do bad Prince impersonations. <laughs> <Yeah>. Right. <laughs> we have Matt Jordan on the phone. <laughs> Thanks for calling in. <laughs> That's Y'all, my favorite. I can't with you guys. I can't with you. Uh, <laughs> There's a lot of Ray Charles in your voice, and you do this thing sometimes where, uh, okay, let me, I'm just, I don't know why I got to beat around the bush with this. That sounded like Michael the Jackson. The voice that comes out of your mouth doesn't match your face, right? So you'll just be singing, then all of a sudden, it just, the soul is, it gets so funky, it's just ridiculous. Where you do this, uh, I can't even do it, see? I, I, I'm, I do what now? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, you, you're like, you, you can hit this high note, but then you go into this like deep like thing. Hmm. You know what I mean. I'm trying to you think mean of the growl. Yeah, the growl <laughs> thing. You do. Like yeah, that see, that's a, like, who are you? It's like you're an alien. <laughs> Or uh, a chameleon. Well, that was like the one I did back on the show, right? Georgia. Yeah, when you did the Georgia song, that one blew my mind. I said Georgia, baby. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of thing. Uh, that sounds a lot like, wait, I, I thought I forgot the artist, not a, oh my God. Justin Bieber. Yeah, yeah, just like that. <laughs> no, that no, sounded, no, no. Yeah, that sounded just like Justin Bieber. <laughs> 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 See, you can't. You can't have me on. I'll just. I'm just bad. I'm, I'm making. I'm weird. <laughs> what about we Justin? Like weird. Justin Timberlake. I feel like you like have that. moments. I can. I could do a little Justin. Let me. Let me hear some Timberlake. So what you want to do? You want to do Justin? You just want to go. Uh, <clears throat> there you go. Whoa! If you were Justin Timberlake, what would be your <laughs> favorite would... month? Uh, it's it's gonna be May. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad. Probably you... May uh... or June. I was pretty sure you were going to pick up what I was putting down. I wasn't sure. <laughs> I was picking it up. I was picking it up. But yeah, Justin. Yeah, yeah. I go old school Justin, and I do in sync. Gone. Yeah. Remember that one? Ever. Ooh, gone. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. Gone. There's a thousand things that I could say. Mm. Yeah, I don't know the words. Let me Google it. No. See, that's a, you don't even need the words. You just... <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> video. Uh-huh. See, yeah. and he doesn't have to do the Christina Aguilera thing where yeah, he doesn't yeah. have to move his hands up and down. Like the finger that follows uh, the... <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, like the one hand on the finger and the other hand just, you know. Even, Ke- even Kelly Clarkson did this thing where she put her thumb in her pocket and really? she would tap the front of her hip when she'd sing. I was like, what, what's that's happening? Country. That's real country. Why right she, is that what that is? Maybe it's a country thing. Like, yeah, that's like a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Texas hoedowns. That's what she was doing. She probably is country. <laughs> wow. 
I like that. I like that. Now, have you ever had to sing a song? How do I want to word that? So, like you're singing an artist's song in front of that artist. That seems like that would be the most terrifying thing in the world. I had to sing, yeah, well, sometimes more like song when, um, in front of the people who wrote the song, which is like even more scary. Right. So, I got a good friend of mine, Marcus Humman, he wrote um, God Bless the Broken Road for Rascal Flats. Yes. And so, we got to write a song together. He's like, oh, yeah. I told him that was like the first song that got me a job here at like Monaco Bay back in the day. And he's like, oh, let me hear your rendition, you know, while his Grammy's sitting on like the trophy. Oh, jeez. Place there. I'm like, yeah, let me do it. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, no I, pressure. One time I was uh, invited to go and sing um, for Priscilla Presley, Elvis Presley's wife. No kidding. By special request, like right after Idol. So I was like freaking out. And she brought me out to California and it was like a big corporate thing. And so, um, I got there and everything, and like the thing I kept going over in my mind was, do I do Elvis songs or do I not do an Elvis song? You know, <laughs> I guess I don't know, and and I uh, I didn't, but <laughs> but I but she was really sweet and uh, wow. She was actually about to cancel on the event, and, and they're just like, oh, they said Matt's coming. And she's like, oh, I'll be there. And she came and, like, sat front row. Wow. I've got, I've got to do some cool things and sing for some really, you know, interesting people over the years. But, yeah, you want to be careful when it's, like, their art. <laughs> you don't want to mess it up. For real. <laughs> yeah. Now, I, I don't mean to make it weird, but I, I feel like you're one of the most talented vocalists from American Idol ever. No lie. Thank you so much. The, the soul that comes out of you is just insane. And we were talking off the air about you did this thing on Facebook that I shared at WKFR.com mm. where you sang Imagine after the election. And I ugly Oprah cried in my office watching that. It, I saw it happen. It, it happened right there in that seat. I have, well, I have things that I call uh, closed door videos because sometimes I'm sensitive. <laughs> Yeah, He's sometimes, a crier. Sometimes I'll have to get up and close the door in my office. It, 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 people walk by my office and go, no. He's watching videos of people hearing for the first time again. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm the same way. But yes. when I watched that one, I didn't expect it. I was just like, all right, let's hear Matt sang. Then I was like, ah! <laughs> I heard that. And I, I just did that song like out of nowhere. I wanted to. I just felt like that was like a song that everyone kind of needed to hear. And um, yeah, I heard like a lot of people were like getting pretty emotional. and It was powerful. And everyone powerful. thought I was getting pretty emotional, too. But in, in reality, I was just having allergies. So, uh -huh. Right. It was my cat. That's what they yeah. all say. My wife was cutting yeah. onions. <laughs> she uses my keyboard as a cutting board for really onions. really sniffly and... day. <laughs> <laughs> no, what a song, though, right? Yeah, for real. Yeah, it was great. I all right, that, how, so how can like... fans support you? How can we make magic happen for Matt in, in a way that... that uh, you know, for one thing, I think we need to make sure all of his fans push him to go to The Voice. Yeah. Right? Am I right? What should what? I sing for my audition? Ooh. Listen, I can't make all your decisions for okay, you. Okay, I'll you know stand what I'm in line with five I know we're besties, people. but... <laughs> I'm going to wear a shark costume and just do something. So <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> Candy Graham. That's the best singing shark I ever heard. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and just do Prince impersonations. <laughs> no, um, is it a Prince shark? <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess like the best thing you could do is to follow my, you know, my social medias. I'm on, uh, on my, I got a fan page, and I got uh, the Twitter and the Instagram stuff like that. Um, and come see me live. That's the best way to support artists these days. Is you know to buy the music and buy a ticket if you can, because that's what you know. That's what keeps us going. So, I'm I'm got a, I got a new single coming out in January called Faded. Make sure you get so, it to me. Yeah, I will. You know I'm gonna do. You it. know you know we're gonna support you, Matt. Thank you so much for coming in, and spending time with us this morning. Thank you, man. I Thanks really appreciate that. Uh, and as soon as that single comes out, make sure you get it to us because we're gonna play it. And check him out. Uh, his website also, mattgerardmusic.com. Yes, yes. And if you can spell how I say it, you're spelling it wrong. Because <laughs> I'm saying it wrong. Yeah. I'm available I'm for uh, children's birthday parties. Um, <laughs> will you, will you sing dressed up as a clown? <laughs> sure. No, no, man. Anything. You know what? I'm available. I'm around. So just, you know, reach out. All right. Cool. Matt Gerard party. Come on. <laughs> one, more pr one more print sound before we end this. <laughs> Do it. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Ow. <laughs> Impressive. I really could listen to that all day. Is Purple that wrong? rain, quarterback. Purple rain. Okay. Ow. Next time. There's your uh, The Voice audition.